Hello everybody, it is another weekend and another video for all of you. So, again as always, let's see what we get ourselves into. The videos and all of these have been completed, so they'll slowly be coming out. And, we of course took a look at these fixtures last week, so I'm going to go ahead and get them cleaned up. But I stopped at the ReStore on my way home from work one of these evenings just to see if there was anything different because I didn't get to stop by the other weekend. And sure enough, there's some new stuff. So here we have an Electropack 100 watt mercury vapor bulb. Used to be 20 bucks. I'm not sure where it would have been sold at. But of course in the inside, it's not necessarily an Electropack bulb. We get a Phillips. Still says Lifeguard on it. June of 1990. Mogul base. And it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can get it out. But inside, we do have the gold ends. Very nice. Let me hold the camera a bit differently. I can't really see in there. That's okay. It's a nice deluxe white coating then. But very nice arc tube inside. And that can go back in here. I think that was 50 cents. And we have a sample. A very nice sample. Oh, it's also a sample. It's, it's a sample. If you didn't know, it was also a sample. But anyway, this is a Home Depot Supply. I'm assuming that's what HD Supply stands for. I see their trucks everywhere at apartment complexes and stuff. And uh, we have a PL Globe Light. This is pretty neat. I've always liked anything PL. We do have the ballast inside here, not necessarily a name on it. Two thousand twelve, they are still making these. Wow, I'm surprised. Got generic nine watt PL bulb here. Put that down. I believe uh, this box was a bunch of miscellaneous stuff thrown all about. So I had to try to put it back together. Um, this appears to be another bulb. And I do believe the globe is in here. So it's a plastic globe. We've got some mounting hardware, although it appears it already has mounting hardware on it. So we got some extra mounting hardware and the plastic globe. So I'm sure I'll find a home for it. But uh, that's not bad at all. I love finding this kind of stuff. Forgot to mention, but this light now has a friend. I finally found one of these that actually says Luxo on it. This came from, I believe, a value village. I think it was like $5. It's a little rusty, but it's in pretty decent condition. I haven't cleaned it up yet. It has a LED bulb in it, some Sylvania thing. We do have the date there. There you go. I don't have it plugged in at the moment, but it does have a very nice long arm on it compared to some other brands that have a smaller, you know, arms. So that's a pretty cool find. I don't, I don't know if I'll keep it here. I just put it here for the moment just to play with it. I'm not sure if the switch is original or not. I'm going to say it is because it looks older, but it sticks out quite a far ways. Of course, I had to replace this one because it was a three-way. But naturally, this one has the incandescent in the middle. Of course, it's LED. Um, and the fluorescent on the outside, where this one, you just have the one. Everything got a nice cleanup. Looks a lot better now. And same with this guy. Better. I certainly like to use some just regular rubbing alcohol and paper towels. It works really well, uh, getting all the sticker residue off and just cleaning everything up. 
I've always been real happy with the results. We've got the Christmas tree with its dimmer. Just one of these simple sliding dimmers. Of course, with it being on a dimmer, the uh, flasher bulb at the top doesn't flash. But uh, if you put it up to full brightness, it definitely does. Got our little old neon flicker flame. And the string of GE 35 clear bulbs in its little tinsel. So there's some Christmas. In the window here, we have the little GE uh, old circular string. That's all controlled by the plug here. And we have um, the old 15 bulb string here, which goes around the window. And that has a 5 watt PL adapter in it. So we've got some flashers here in the window by the door and then of course up top are the other 15 bulbs i really like the flashers in the window that looks really cool wonderful old sets in very good condition as well beautiful in the kitchen, I have just an older 50 lamp miniature set. Uh, the nice thing about these older ones is the lamp spacing. I really like it when the bulbs are spaced further apart. It just looks so much better than the ones today where the bulbs are like this far apart. Here you, here you get to appreciate each individual color much better. And the colors are really vibrant as well, as you can see. And then in the window here, we have some of the cup light little blue bulbs. This is a Sears set. It has the two fuse bulbs in it. And those just go around the window and just stop right there. So very nice old sets. Cannot forget to put the fox out. Much better. So there's not really any light in this corner other than when this uh, eyeball can light is on. Of course, there's two lights over here. You know, there's a, a lamp here and you got those up there, but they're never used. And you know, the display case lights up and whatnot, but um, there's no light in this corner. So you turn everything off, even if you have everything else on, there's nothing there's nothing in the corner to light it up. So, the other day, you know, found this little can light up lighter here. And it's perfect. It's a little R20 size one. And that would be perfect for back here to light up the corner. Now, the optimal thing for it would be some type of a smart bulb so that it can turn on and off with everything else. but. I don't have one of those on hand. So I was like, okay, well, I'll go get one of those uh, Wemo, W-E-M-O, however you pronounce their name. I think it's a Belkin product. Um, little outlet adapter thing that you can connect smart and all that baloney. Anyway, they didn't have those at Best Buy, even though that they said they did. So instead, I ended up picking up this, which they said they didn't have, and this is the Philips version of the smart plug outlet thing, which is fine. I use plenty of other Philips Hue bulbs and products, and I have the hub uh, for this, so I don't see any problems with that. So I'm going to use that uh, with this light here in the corner, and then I'm going to debate if I want to get any more Philips Hue bulbs uh, to use here, because then I could use different colors and stuff as well. Um, but we'll see how it goes with this to begin with. 
That looks better. It gives it a little bit of something rather than no light at all in the corner. Not the best way to have it hooked up, but you can see the little Phillips adapter there. And inside I decided to put a little GE R14 LED bulb for the moment. I really do hope you enjoyed these videos. And also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.